Hello everyone, this is this is but this is Best Opportunities Talking Wrestling, the first of what I hope will be a nice lengthy series. I'm here with my first guest, Millie McKenzie. Millie, thank you very much for joining me. I do appreciate it. So what we're just going to do is talk a bit about you, your wrestling, because you're young, but you become one of the most sought after wrestlers in the country. So we're just gonna so I think a good place I'm off with would be um your debuts for Progress, Fighter Pro. In, in Portugal as well. How that all been? Because I know you're still a young wrestler, so it must be quite surreal for you to have all this sudden spotlight thrust upon you. Yeah, it's been pretty, pretty cool the past couple of months. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty surreal. Like, yeah. I would imagine, yeah. It's all kind of happened quickly as well. As yeah, it has happened yeah. very quickly. Yeah, because there's only the uh, start of this year when I saw you at Live Fest, the Hail Zone Club, and the Thirty Old People. So it's been a massive escalation, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it, it's nice really. It was all after kind of Shikara. Yeah, I was looking at you. You team with um, Omar and Kyle Fletcher? Yeah, yeah, that was it, yeah. yeah. Um, and after that, well, there was Fight Club before that. Obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fight Club was just fine. <laughs> just happened. Just happened to the same thing. Yeah, uh, so there was Fight Club, then there was Shikara. Yeah. Then kind of progress came off the back of that. Yeah. Like, in Portugal and yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. I can say it's, it's been a bit, bit, bit of sort of um, a bit of sort of wheel, hasn't it? As in one thing setting up another thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, and I I've seen a lot of people, especially the past few months on Twitter and Instagram, talking about how they would expect to see you touring the world in a couple of years' time, and I think. That time a few months ago, of course, I was completely in the dark about all this. So, yeah. uh, so, so in fact, um, I think it was when I was listening to your podcast was kicking out of three, and you were saying I wanted to debut overseas. I thought that's. A, I thought a bit soon to set this year. I think so. I was, I was very impressed actually to hear that you'd really use your progress and fight club to to catapult yourself into that national level. Mm. So, I know that. For you, especially at such a young age, um, I was about how you got into this because it's very uncommon to see someone, especially a female, as I, I know very few, but you're the only girl I know at such a young age you got into this. How did that happen? It's a really boring story to be honest. I oh. just <laughs> turned on the television and it was on one day. Oh yeah. Um, when I was little, I used to go to this like, childminder's house. Oh yeah. And I remember her son used to. Uh, play with like wrestling figures. Oh yeah, those little This is when I was six. Oh yeah. If, uh, around that age, maybe a bit older. Yeah. Um, and I didn't like it at all. Oh. So <laughs> I would just sit there and play. Yeah. Um, and then about five years later, it came on the telly again. I was like, oh. And you just gave them all. Yeah, I just it. recorded it. Oh, okay, yeah. And then came back to it every so often, and then I kind of got invested in the yeah. story. Yeah, so I started a, watching it more. Yeah, so it was a bit, a bit of a slow start, but yeah. really did yeah. cut point to something pretty yeah. big then. So, how did you you just have a small interest and literally just recording one show? Evolve into you trying to be a wrestler because I can't, I can't imagine that sort of snapped in, oh, oh, what's this? I want to do it. So. Yeah, it was like um, I'm quite determined yeah. in everything I do. I like to kind of be the best at what I do. Yeah, I know it's um, So I used to watch the girls, and I'd, well, first of all, I wouldn't watch the girls, I'd fast forward the girls <laughs> because I yeah. didn't think they were much. Yeah, that was when they were even more as sex objects than actual wrestlers. Yeah, um, and I thought. I reckon to do it. Yeah, that was what people were going to do as you toilet the way, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> um, so I thought, yeah, I'd like to think I could do better than this. Well, yeah, I think, I think you've really proven to a lot of people, in, especially in this, this country, who've seen your progress in front of that you are doing a lot better than them. Because again, uh, uh, you're being utilised in much better ways, you yeah. know what I mean? I think it's the way you kind of. Show you like represent yourself. Yeah, yeah, right. because you really like it's the thing. Um, what I've noticed is with lots of the wrestlers in the WWE is they really have to sh um, show off their bodies more than they really should be doing. Yeah. So I really do admire that you're doing less of that and more of showing your talent, and that has really catapulted into. Yeah, yeah. Lucky. it has been very lucky. Yeah, yeah. so, so. 
who has been the most influential in helping you to? Because I imagine you know your your parents were very supportive of you. It was a pretty good thing. So, so who? So was it just one person, or what was it? Or was it a sort of group of people that they were introduced to, and then they slowly got you into the training? So it kind of it's been different. Like, so obviously it was my parents, my parents would support me a lot and help yeah. me out a lot, I can't thank them enough for that. Yeah. Um, then it was the Phoenix guys where oh, I started, yeah. they helped yeah. me out a lot again at the start. Yeah. Then it was Iron Fist yeah. again, um, then now it's Fight Club, so Martin's yeah. actually Travis Banks and Pete when he was around, he used to help oh, me yeah. out a lot. Um, so yeah, I was very lucky that they all kind of took me under their wing, if you like, really, yeah. really helped me out and guided me. Yeah, and I imagine their experience has been invaluable, especially oh, considering yeah. how big they come, you know, I mean, I mean, Peter, especially now, WWE UK Champion, I imagine mm -hmm. his experience and his teaching must be, especially someone as, I don't want to say inexperienced, because you're not experienced, you're being oh, no, but, but someone who's mm -hmm. still finding their feet, so to speak, you're, yeah. you're still young, so you've still got a lot to learn, so mm -hmm. imagine, Learning from some of the best in the world is has been invaluable to me. Pete and Travis, they're just insane. So all of us is okay, because you've in the past few months you've you've been working shows almost non-stop, haven't you? So, I mean, one yeah. Other. So I can ask you, did that ever get? I can't say boring because I imagine you would stop if you've got bored. Does that ever get tiring? You know, another while, I wish you. you not work at many shows as you do. I think if you look at my face, it kind of. <laughs> yeah. I, I love wrestling. I yeah. wrestle. The wrestling isn't the problem. Like, I'm yeah. full of, out of love with the wrestling. I mean, the travelling sometimes. Oh, yeah, I can imagine that. Yeah, the travelling is yeah, um, especially it's still, to yeah, the it's countries. Still it is, I do enjoy it. Yeah. Um, it was just nice to have a lot of break of school sometimes. Like, yeah. what are doing? Especially now because I've started doing another in week. Oh, shows. yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'll wrestle, say, Friday, Saturday, and then oh, God. So that's, so and then train, Wednesday, Thursday. So it doesn't stop you really, isn't it? So, so school, so I would imagine you're doing quite a bit of physical education at school, considering you're doing yeah. so well with the wrestling. Yeah. Unfortunately, you today? Yeah, because with my PE at school, so I'm doing an L of PE, yeah. um, I can't use wrestling as oh, my predominant that's sport. That's something good. Yeah, so I have to use football, so oh. I've got to start playing football again. Well, I can say that I'm excited, I'm happy to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's another evening of my week. Ah, yeah. so, so what are you used to studying at school at the moment? Um, so, as I said, I'm doing my own books. Yeah. I'm doing art, psychology, and PE. Oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Let's say that that's. So that is to me seem very contrasting with your wrestling and your art, and that's, I mean, it's still on the creative side again. They're very yeah. contrasting subjects, aren't they, with art and. And then this. Yeah, I mean, I I promised my mum and dad that I'd finish. Uh, oh, uh, so 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 what was the 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 sort of compromise that you know? So so you do well in your school, and they will do their best to fund and mm. help you with the lesson training. So like at the start, um, they paid for like everything for me, which was very I'm very grateful for that. Yeah. Um. But as obviously now I am doing wrestling mostly Almost four times at the moment, yeah. Um, my schoolwork, I went through a stage where my schoolwork started to slip a bit. Oh yeah. Because I just had no time. Yeah. No time. Well, I can so imagine that would have some time with it. Yeah, and I was missing a lot of school. Yeah. Um, so my mum and dad kind of sat me down and I had a meeting at school. Yeah, I can imagine said, the parents weren't really good, the teachers yeah. wouldn't be particularly good with that. Yeah, they kind of said, you've got to support yourself now. Yeah. You've got to knuckle down at school and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, um, I would, I would assume you're doing um, better in school now because I think, I mean, I know the questions have been really, really hectic for you in terms of wrestling, but I imagine that sort of um, calm down, but um, um, it would have been a bit easier to sort of, you sort of find your feet with the school work, or has it still been a bit of a nightmare? I mean, because obviously I was ill for a bit as well. Oh yeah, of course. I took two weeks off school. Oh yeah. And I was already behind. Oh and god. I just, I just fell further. Oh, of course, you're in that year now where you need to be. I'm in my last year, but oh. five months left. Oh okay. Yeah, which is that's just what's keeping me going. Five months, and then I can 
and then you can start to go on have a focus yeah. and start on this yeah. Yeah. yeah and I mean it, it, it's good it, it, I mean it's good that you've got that kind of fallback option yeah, I mean, to, I mean to be fair it's not likely this is all going to go wrong because of how how well I've been doing but it's nice to have a fallback option isn't it yeah it is because when I was in hospital obviously I was fine yeah but my mum was saying if this happens again and you do get injured and you do have to call it a day yeah I'm going to say because wrestling well it's the pay can be fantastic if you are if you're that sought after, but if one thing goes wrong, then that's it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, I mean, you see that a lot of investors with the need to read. It pays fantastic, but of course, when they get injured, it really does put in really yeah, does yeah, yeah. prove a bit of a challenge to get back out there, especially mm -hmm. that's a big source of income. So, talking about about the appearance here at Fight Club and progress. What would you say, um, who or what would you say have, have been your favourite matches to compete in? Who's been your, your favourite opponent? Because I know in the past months you faced a lot, a lot uh, you, you faced a lot of people who you told me particularly that you want to face like Kaylee Lane and Mari. Yeah, yeah. So who has, though, definitively, who has been your absolute favourite match? You've had not necessarily an opponent, but favourite match. Do you have one yet? I loved, I think my favourite match ever. Oh, yeah. It was the multi man I had at Fight Club at the Project Mayhem. We oh, went. yeah. Oh, it's good. It was a lot of time. I was really there. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. think that was. Yeah. Through the roof, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Just... yeah. Well, I mean, Twitter absolutely exploded after that match. Yeah. I, was, I was getting absolutely bombarded, especially with um, especially with messages from people. I was saying, oh, Tom, I think they're doing the girls. Yes, I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know that. Yeah. Oh, so. So, do you so in light of all of, of, of all of your recent appearances, um, um, do you have a have a way to get prepared, or is there a sort of routine you go through? Because I know that some people have their sort of I can't really say superstitions, but things they go to, yeah, and it and, and it helps them mentally. Yeah. So do you have that sort of thing? Um. Yeah. I. But there's a lot of people backstage at like Fight Club yeah. that will get on the floor and start doing press ups like oh, yeah. and stuff. He like all the time he's like. <laughs> I'm so sorry, he's one of those really, really in kind of people. When he gets in the zone, he's scary. Oh god. Um, a couple of people do that. Um, yeah. I I have to stay calm. Yeah. So I was just walk around and find a Mari. Yeah, and then I'm just I'm just chill, yeah. chill. I say a little bit different. I'm gonna say because yeah. I think. I mean, I mean, I mean, of course, you know, what walks in, what walks in, walks in, that's great. But of course, I do imagine that getting to have all hyped up like that was, mm -hmm. it would make, to me anyway, it made it seem scarier because you yeah. walked up on it. It is nerve wracking. It, it wasn't nerve wracking, I'm yeah. I'm nervous a lot. So oh, I mean, it just, would be, yeah. I have to stay calm and just relax and just be quite laid back about it because then, yeah. Performance will be up to scratch because if, if I panic, sometimes I get jittery. Yeah, I would say that's the thing, because you might have made a powerful thing, isn't it? So, yeah. one bad thought can really send you going downhill, mm -hmm. and I imagine it's, it can be quite difficult to ignore that with backstage and all these sort of people doing their different routines to get ready. Yeah, it's, it's hard, it's a, it's a weird place backstage at yeah. the show, just looking around, there's people like. Like dancing room. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, everyone has their individual yeah. thing that they're doing. And just you do, yeah, you just, yeah, you just go with it, trying to make some attention. I've noticed that here actually, with a few people, this is, I wouldn't normally be here this early, but I have noticed that you do have people doing some strange, well, what I would call strange things, yeah. but I imagine for you now being around it is, is the norm. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, well, that is the time we have because the meeting people starting any second now. So thank you again very much for us. We appreciate it. So, and we will be back next year. So Millie, again, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, you're on social media, aren't you? You're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Yes. Yeah. Those links will be in the description of this video, and the links for my page will be in the description of below. So again, thank you, and we will see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>